Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today, with the help of the metals versus electricity set by Mel Chemistry, we will use electricity to make patterns on an iron spoon. Perform this experiment on the plastic tray to contain any possible spills. Don't forget to put on protective gloves and goggles before doing the experiment. To open a bottle containing a reagent, push the cap down and turn it. For the steel versus electricity experiment, you will need sodium chloride, two candles, a brush, a wooden stick, a spoon, a battery holder, and crocodile clip wires. Take the beaker, a disposable cup, the stove, and the flame diffuser from the starter kit. You will also need four AAA batteries, a kettle, a lighter or matches, and a napkin. Put one candle in the stove, light it, and cover the stove with the flame diffuser. Put the second candle onto the diffuser and wait for five minutes until the paraffin in it melts. Then extinguish the first candle. Now, fill the disposable cup with hot water and immerse the spoon in the hot water for 10 seconds. Using the brush, apply the melted paraffin to both sides of the spoon. Blow on the spoon to cool it and make the paraffin solidify. The paraffin will act as a protective layer, preventing the surface of the spoon from touching the solution. Wait for three minutes. Now pour one bottle of sodium chloride into your beaker. Fill the beaker with hot water and stir the contents. When dissolved, sodium chloride dissociates into ions. Due to this, the obtained solution can conduct electricity and is called an electrolyte solution. Using the sharp end of the brush, draw a pattern in the paraffin, scratching it all the way through to the spoon surface. An uncomplicated image with thick lines will work best. Take the battery holder with the batteries and connect the red wire with it using the red crocodile clip wire. Put the spoon into the solution and attach the clip to it. Now connect the black crocodile clip wire to the black wire of the holder. Put the loose end of the wire into the solution and the electrolysis process will start. When electricity is applied, the iron atoms of the spoon transform into iron ions, which enter the solution. But this reaction can only take place with the iron that is not protected by the paraffin, right where the pattern is. The black clip is negatively charged. Protons in the water bind to its excess electrons and turn into gaseous hydrogen, which makes the solution bubble. Now, disconnect the wires and prepare some hot water. Take the spoon out of the reaction mixture and immerse it in the hot water. Then remove the paraffin from the spoon using a napkin, and the image is revealed. Learn more about this experiment on our Mel Science website.